got a quick mailbag tonight. These you saw in a previous video, except I got two more of them. This is a Yagi style 2.4 gigahertz antenna with SMA output. I have some pretty interesting projects and I'm not sure where they're gonna go, but we need the next pieces coming right up. Okay, to work with those, we got all of this. Now, these are new on the channel. I've never had one of these before. This is the Wemos D1 Mini Pro, an ESP8266 microcontroller, but it has a unique advantage. On the board here, we have an IP, an IPEX style antenna connection, as well as an onboard ceramic style uh, 2.4 gigahertz antenna. And we just need to move that resistor over that's a zero ohm, just a shunt essentially. And we move that over and we can hook these external antennas right onto this ESP8266, which is very, very interesting. I'm looking forward to giving this a go. Otherwise, it's pretty much standard form factor. It's got most of our important I.O. broken out, or at least a handful of them. And yeah, should do the job. As well in the package, got a bunch more of them. Got, you know me. Always order to excess. There's four of them, just in case I do anything foolish. These rubber duck style 2.4 gigahertz antennas with an, S or an R RPSMA connection going to the IPEX connector, which will work just fine. These are the same, except just a little bit longer of a rubber duck antenna, just a standard dipole. And then this, which is a PCB style. Uh, I've never tried one of these before. I have no idea what the gains on these are. If you know, throw a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. But just hooks onto the same IPEX connection. And yeah, we should be able to receive Wi-Fi signals on our ESP8266 microcontroller. And yeah, this is going to be fun. I think we can do some, uh, at least one really cool project I have coming up. Next out of the box, we've got a solenoid. This is just a straight up 12 volt solenoid. Uh, just standard eBay purchase, but you could use this for unlocking a latch or uh, any kind of actuation where you only need a linear actuation. And holy smokes, does that feel nice. Wow, that is really, really smooth really low resistance to that so i can't remember what the amperage rating on this coil is we'll just do a quick test at some point and see what it draws it, it all solenoids draw a fair bit that's a big coil of wire it, it is what it is but if you just need to momentarily just pop to release something here we go nice and small easy to mount yeah should do the trick lots of throw too very cool next up some USB connections. These are just USB breakouts. Got a whole package of them. They're just a USB kind of daughter board, USB 2.0, just on a PCB. And we can just break out USB and hook into our microcontroller circuits or whatever. Or back probe, you could just hook up a couple of these and just use it as a probe point and hook your logic analyzer on or whatever kind of project you got on the go. Should be neat. Next up, some precision screwdrivers now i kind of think this was a mistake these are the same ones that i had in a previous mailbag except all of these were kind of on like a in a leather pouch and they were all kind of suspended and easy to index these are just loose in a bag i'm not sure how good that's gonna be we'll give it a go the aluminum screwdriver itself yeah, it feels nice. Yeah, I like the size of it. So if nothing else, we can use those in our little like on the go bag or whatever to have random uh, bits, like the most more uncommon stuff, like tiny torques like this and whatnot. I think there's panel lobes and all kinds of stuff in there. We'll give it a go. This one's a little bit bigger. This one I think will get its own review. This is the wow stick. 1P plus electric screwdriver. 
Now, I don't have a lot of faith in how this is going to work out, but this is a small precision uh, battery driven screwdriver and we're going to give it a go. Yeah. yeah, we'll do its own review, but it comes with a little, what looks like a degausser, I guess. And yeah, we'll look into it. Future video. One last thing. Kind of a random thing. Never ordered one of these. This is a magnetic uh, visualizer, magnetic film. So if we take a magnet and put it nearby, we can visualize the magnetic field from that. That's really neat. If I hold, this is just a little rare earth magnet. And if I hold that there, sure enough, you can see the magnetic field. Very neat. That's just... I, it might be really handy if you're getting into like like some of the older automotive stuff used a multi uh, pole uh, cam sensor and stuff and they used to get uh, they used to fail it's usually it's usually not the magnet side that failed but if you wanted to visualize the magnetic field from it you could uh, just kind of neat put a speaker behind it what do we get yeah pretty much kind of the same idea but very, very cool to see it, uh, the north-south emanations from a rare earth magnet. Very neat. So, something fun to play with. Check this out, guys. I got the D1 Mini Pros up and going with a little experimentation. And I even did the modification and got it on an external rubber duck. But the trick was, for me, it was adding an OLED screen. And I finally got it working. It was a bit of a fight. Just library issues. But now what I'm able to do through the sketch is dump all the probe frames to memory, their MAC addresses and their RSSI values and log them, which is pretty cool. Maybe even log it to an external SD card eventually. But that will take us to this once I get yet another adapter because these are SMA and these are RPMS, RP SMA. So just have to grab yet again another one. But we're, we're up and going. So these cool little micros, this is going to be a fun little project. And I don't know. Stay tuned. We'll see where it goes. If you like these videos, consider clicking a thumbs up down below. Truly appreciate it, guys. Thank you to all my patrons. And check out some of the other videos on the channel. And check out these upcoming 2.4 gigahertz projects once I get them on the go. You'll see them published uh, over the next few months. Cheers.